I want to risk this? I guess I do. Oh, I shouldn't have done it though. Okay, she is at least dead. Okay, perfect. I needed to flesh out there so she wouldn't get the heal from her second empowered W. Yo, what up gamers? You're watching video number 31 of my Iron to Master series. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series and follow me on Twitch if you want to see it live. The link is in the description. To try and uh, hit level 2 on the next wave. Is it very FK or what? Okay. Yikes, what a bad trade from him. You can even call that a trade. Yeah, I mean, he hit them once without, with an auto. I guess it's a trade. <sighs> what? He missed. <laughs> Holy shit. Was that scripting? Was what? From his flash? No. Pretty much leaning one v two, kind of sucks. Okay, finally. Oh, I fucked up. Hang on. Oh, got her though. I'm dead now, but where am I? Yeah. My bad. Maybe if I just ran without autoing, I would have lived. That should be okay though. I do believe. Let's. <laughs> Pretty sure there's no way she shoves this in, right? No way this crashes. Yep, huge. So this uh, was a one for one, but it's super worth for us. Even aside from server not getting a kill. Actually, in terms of just the kills, it's pretty much even because server got two assists, which is equal to one kill if it's only split between one person or between two people, rather. But look at all the CS you missed. You missed out on two waves, and I arrive here right on time to get both waves. But Sivir was a disaster. I guess Karma backed. Okay, I only missed one CS for this though, so it's not too bad. Just for the chance to maybe get a kill or an assist. Oh boy. Bliss not gonna use cooldowns or oh my god I'm actually dead aren't I? No oh, okay. She goes dead. Oh now Leeson is back though. Okay, let's go for it. <sighs> that was a close one. I almost didn't kill her. Alright, perfect. Uh do I die to him? Hopefully not. 
Yeah, we should be okay. I can, I can even kill him. What is he doing? What are you doing, fool? Dumbass. That guy's not smurfing. Wait, is he? No, it's Severn back there. <clears throat> there was one level down on me, so that was pretty brave. I just want to back here, man. I want to spend my gold. See, what what was going to happen there, even if he hit the hook, man? What does he accomplish with that? Anything, I might have even got him in trouble. Even just missing the hook just cost him all that HP because she just chased him down that hard. The smurfing Lee would never keep first there? Nope. Probably not. Hey, delicious. How you done? Think it is harder to blend this season? Not really. This server is smurfing though, although I can't really tell just by gameplay. But if she even had spell shield that one time she got hooked under turret. Are you doing this series solo? Yeah. Wow, she actually spotted it there late as well. She's just lucky it didn't hit her. <laughs> you know, Leah's bot side, so we don't wanna uh, do anything hasty here. There's a reason she's going aggressive and without mana, she's trying a bit. It's nice that he keeps missing those. this I guess I do oh I shouldn't have done it though is okay, she is at least dead okay perfect I needed to flush out there so she wouldn't get the heal from her second empowered W yeah that was a close one probably shouldn't have gone for that but by now definitely Lee was not gonna be around there's surely no way he was that desperate to gank It's top side now. An ally has been slain. <coughs> Get up. Rampage. Yes, I just need two more long swords and then I'll have my kill evolve. Shut down. Could have gone for a plate there. Could I? I'm missing farm even though I didn't go for a plating. Ooh. Okay, actually I didn't miss farm, but barely. <coughs> Realistically, I probably would have lost the cannon for going for that plating. So that plating would have only been worth it if it was at least a solo plating, but I have no guarantee that Blitz would just let me have it solo, so I'd rather not risk it. There was such a bro, no right? Tanking the turret shot so it doesn't kill my melee. God bless you, man. <laughs> Did miss when you were on bronze, unfortunately. I've got all the VODs on my YouTube channel anyway, so... You can check that out. I might be dead here. I think I'm dead. Where am I? 
I think I am still, yeah. There's way too flash is gonna you see me. I nearly have ult though. Okay, holy shit. Can't believe I live. Bit lucky. Sacrifice wasn't a main true. Hey, Vivi, how you doing? Long time no see. By right, going on there, but it's not really worth for us to even try and rotate that, I don't think. And you good to hear I'm doing good as well. Are you playing duo? No, only solo. No Dirk? No. I'm uh, doing a slightly, de a slightly delayed kill of off gold where you get a bigger mid game power spike. Fuck me. And a quicker evolve. Fuck. Okay, at least I hit her. <laughs> This wave. I shouldn't think this wave. That's an enemy. Fuck, I missed the cannon for that. Yeah, I can't really follow up there. Imagine I tank the massive wave, lose half my HP, and then the enemy's counter gank, and I'm half HP for no reason. Did it get even dived? I can try and I'll play this. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> he would have been dead if not for that heal. Oh well. Okay, I didn't think he would still have ult. Jesus Christ. Would have tried to play it out just slightly differently if I knew he had ult. Just try and stay away from his kick range as opposed to trying to juke his Q. This lay is bad. Okay, nice. <laughs> what? Uh. With that hit? Oh my god, nice. How much point am I backing yet? What do you think about hybrid bolt? Pretty good. Really good. But I guess I should help with this one. Wait, this is still the first drink. Nobody ended up getting that. That's funny. Ah, my W didn't reach for the kill steal a wall. Server? <laughs> Smurf, by the way. Is worse their layer your blitz. Um, I mean, Lee doesn't seem to be playing too bad, or he wouldn't be eight and three, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to stay here either. I than I left. I've already got Phantom Dancer. That's huge. Nice. How do you know when you can 1v1 the enemy ADC? Experience. <coughs> oh, 
But it's not even like I think, okay, looking at my items and looking at server's items, I can tell that I win this 1v1. It's more like I saw how much damage I did to her with some auto attack poke. And I was like, yeah, like no matter how much damage she does to me, I'm just going to kill her too fast. Maybe if she hit both Qs, but I was confident I could dodge that. Basically, if you can't if you can't tell whether you're gonna win or lose a one v one, it is kind of favorable to you to tr to just try it and see what it's like. So you can try and learn for the future. One. What the hell? The minions just transported. Yes. I mean, it, even if Victor's coming. Like, I don't see how this could possibly go bad for us. In fact, I can even shove another wave. Only way this backfires is if, uh, Sivir and Victor and Lee all show up. Even though Lee should be clearing, like, his jungle because he, like, came bot and died. Last thing he wants to do is come bot and die again, you know? <laughs> Potentially. Or come bot and still waste his time even more. Needs to catch up. I will make yeah, as you can, as you could tell there, like my two item damage right now is way higher than if I were going AP. I would not have snowballed this hard already if I were AP. My scaling will probably be worse though, but it's, it's still quite decent, you know. <coughs> you don't have to go the AP bolt every game, although most people do that now. Also, the level difference, yeah, but I don't really factor that into my decision, you know? The level difference is just something that it it shows when it comes to, like, when I go for a simple auto attack trade on Sivir. The level difference is, like, playing out in terms of how much damage I take and how much damage she takes. So I see how much damage I deal with one auto, and I see how much damage she deals with one auto, and I think, yeah, I win this fight. Without having to know the calculations behind the levels, you know? Like, if I don't know exactly how much of a difference being, like, two levels down makes, I just see a simple exchange of autos, and I can more or less, ex more or less like, extrapolate from that what a uh, full exchange would look like. In theory, Sivir should be able to do the same. Like, if this were a high-low game, Sivir would have been able to do exactly the same. Like, if she were the same rank as me. Because I'm guessing she isn't. And she would just know not to take the fight. Unless she was confident she could outplay all my auto attacks somehow. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future guys, and make sure to follow me on Twitch if you want to see this series live. The link is in the description. So serious server, what should you do in this situation? Just sit under tower? Yeah, pretty much. Sit under the turret or roam? Oh. They play with the team rather than trying to... Uh, try and catch up on your own and uh, leaving yourself vulnerable to the Kai'Sa.